hi everyone in today's video i'm going to show you how to manage markets in shopify and how to manage products under those markets so in order to do the settings for the market you have to go to the settings then in markets and there you see i have three different markets here and international market is inactive we can activate it by clicking in here active and it's activated and if you want to create a different market which further includes different countries then you can click on the add market here add the name of your supposed market and select the countries that you want to add in that market so let's say i've added these five and add market there you go that's how you add the market but you have to configure the shipping in order to activate this market here since the shipping is not configured the market is still inactive so if we talk about the active markets here and you want to show different pricing for different markets then uh, click on the international market for the different countries you can edit the market and see the countries which are included in this one if you want to include more you can select from here otherwise these are the default countries which are included into this international market you can click on this option to manage the product pricing for the international market click on it you can increase the price in one go like this like you can increase the price by 5% for all of the products which are listed here or you can change the prices individually by clicking in these input boxes so this price will be applicable to all the countries which are included into this international market and basic currency you can select from here let's say it's usd then you can click on it and save accept and just check this option to show people the pricing of product in their local currency so these are coming in dollars and they are automatically converted so you don't have to pay any extra charges for the conversion that's how you manage the product under different markets same goes for the indian market here click on it currency is already set to inr you can set different pricing for india or you can increase all of them by a percentage and it goes same for all other markets as well you can select a primary market if you want and you can always manage and add the markets from here and include the countries that you want under that particular market so that's all for the markets thank you so much